Kenya Banks, would you mind joining me up here? Hi. Hi. Kenya is uh, is our manager of human resources and our compliance for Quinnacopia Incorporated. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, um, you're the sheriff. Yeah. <laughs> Before she was hired almost three years ago, Quinnacopia Nature's Bend had experienced significant growth with over 65 and part-time staff members. We desperately needed someone to take on the ever-growing complexities of human resources, including the oversight of compliance with our CARP standards. As a, as a rehabilitation facility, we have well over 200 standards that we have to comply with. Uh, and and maintain those standards in terms of safety, in terms of program, quality of program, uh, you name it, the book is about this thick. Um, and uh, as I said, we were desperately in need of someone to manage that book. In her interview process, she stood out from all the other candidates with over 15 years of specific human resource training and certification to her credit. She has a strong background in training and development, recruitment, career counseling, performance management, goal setting, and managing the human resource function. In her first few months, Kenya experienced her first CARF survey. Two people come from out of town to uh, administer the survey. Uh, it was not a fun experience. We got knocked around pretty good and were given a year to get our compliance act together. A year later, under Kenya's direction and leadership, Cornucopia was surveyed and was awarded a rare exemplary conformance designation from the surveyors and a three-year accreditation. To top that off, Kenya and members of the admin rehab team were invited to make a presentation at the International CARF Conference in Arizona in February of 2012. They left Cleveland, Ohio to go to Arizona in February. Yes, we did. <laughs> I had to twist their arm. Kenya is also a full-time mom with three daughters, and for the past two years, an ordained minister in her Baptist church, where she is a co-pastor with her husband, Mark Banks. I deeply appreciate her ethical beliefs and behaviors in the workplace and the positive potential impact she has had with the staff as she interacts with them on a daily basis. Kenya Banks continues to be one of the key players who is responsible for the ongoing development and success of this organization, and I am delighted to recognize her with the Distinguished Service Award. Kenya Banks. And again, we dedicate this Distinguished Service Award to Kenya Banks. It's a delight for me to do this. It's presented Dan to was one of the people who was also on the final interview. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. It's a delight. In recognition of your outstanding service and dedication in establishing and growing Cornucopia's Human Resource Department, maintaining CARF certification and compliance, and her sincere commitment to Cornucopia's mission to help people with disabilities develop their skills, confidence, and workplace potential. Kenya, it's a delight. Well, it is with great honor and enthusiasm that I receive this. I do take my role here very seriously and personally to heart. I pour myself into this um, emotionally, intellectually, spiritually. I come with my A game every day because everyone that I work with deserves that. And I'm not going to cry, Bonnie. I don't care what you do. <laughs> but it's very important to me that everyone that is around me is influenced by who I am. And I'm influ influenced by each of you. And I just thank you so much for this opportunity. And I thank God for my boss every day. All right. Thank you.